Welcome to the WHHI Daily News. I'm Robin Zimmerman. Let's begin with today's news headlines. It's definitely turning out to be a record summer at Hunting Island Beach when it comes to sea turtle nests. 2022 will go down as being the best year for sea turtle nesting. Friends of Hunting Island Sea Turtle Conservation Program have announced that the group has posted a record year in 2022 with a total of 175 nests on the island's beaches, eclipsing the 153 nests it had in a record setting 2019 season, which was a massively successful season all over South Carolina beaches. The sea turtle nesting season lasts actually from May through October. The first nest, nest hatched on July 7th on Hunting Island, and there are currently multiple nests in their hatching stage nearly every morning along the beach on the island. A Japan-based company that's developing flying cars, yes, Flying Cars has set up a temporary office in Buford as it explores entry into the U.S. market. SkyDrive, backed by venture capital from some of Japan's largest brands, is just one of several international companies checking out beautiful Buford by the Sea, as it is known, thanks to a new office hub called the Landing Pad that companies can use for free while they develop their sea legs in unfamiliar waters and can consider dropping anchor in U.S. markets. Uh, but SkyDrive, a Tokyo-based aerotech startup, might offer the most intriguing product of the bunch. In Japan, SkyDrive has been developing electric vehicle takeoff and landing vehicles, or EVTOLs, along with cargo-carrying drones. Well, businessman Kevin Carter isn't waiting for the town of Hilton Head to address the issue of workforce housing. Instead, he's tackling it on his own with a nearly $3 million investment in island properties that he buys, renovates, and then makes available for his employees to rent. Carter is owner of Hilton Head Health. It's a weight loss and wellness resort that has been lauded as one of the best in the nation. But even before COVID intensified Buford County's housing shortage, Carter saw that affordable housing was going to keep Hilton Head Health from recruiting and keeping the best employees. And he says, with the growth of Bluffton, people don't have to drive all the way onto the island to get the same money or the same opportunity. So that's part of it. He said also, rising property values have given landlords an opportunity to sell or to increase rent dramatically. With ever-increasing rents and diminishing number of affordable living options on Hilton Head Island, the money Carter charges is what he calls reasonable rates, rents that help him cover upkeep, utilities, and taxes. And finally, a change in leadership is imminent for the Beaufort County Board of Education. With multiple incumbents not seeking re-election, paving the way for newcomers to step into their roles. Now, both the chair, David Streibinger, and vice chair, Kathy Robine, are not running again, paving the way for newcomers to represent District 2 and District 8, and new board members in the top positions for the board. In addition, redistricting led to District 5 Representative Richard Gere to run unopposed for District 4. No one filed to run for Gere's current seat at District 5, which means it will go to a write-in candidate. For more information on these stories and many more, please check out the media sources listed on your screen. And remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and check out our website at whhitv.com. After the break, Kyle Wallace will join us from St. Luke's Church. She'll talk about the Alpha program that is going to be offered to the entire community. Stay tuned. <music> 